Uh, hello, my fans. Uh, how are you? Uh, once again, uh, this is uh, Barista Bernardo Antonio. Uh, here with you, it is a beautiful uh, day uh, full of sun. Uh, today, I've just decided to have this uh, out of the restaurant. You know, sometimes it's good to have a, a very fresh air when you are just alone and, uh, you know. So basically, uh, today, uh, we just want to learn uh, something new. Uh, we did about the long black and also we did about the Americano. And these are the terms that are basically being used in uh, Australia. So if you go in Australian uh, menu billboards, uh, these are the terms that we'll able to find there. The long black, uh, the short black, uh, the doppio. You see, so they are just terms, but they are not something which is different uh, actually from what we do in our coffee shop. So that's why uh, in our last episode, we, just, we covered about uh, a long black and also we found the difference between a long black and American. And today, I have something new. I always see it in, in Australian billboard, they call it short black. So I used to wonder what is short black and uh, what is doppio. So today, uh, we're gonna do a doppio and we're gonna do uh, a short black. So most importantly, I want to thank you. Uh, I checked. Uh, we had 400 subscribers. I want to thank you for this support. I want to thank you for those who are wishing me to be safe. You know, we are in the hospitality industry. And at the same time, we are supposed also to care, take care of our guests that we love, who needs coffee at their doorstep. So uh, let's jump in. Uh, today, I'm just out. Uh, this is uh, my restaurant uh, actually behind me over here. Uh, so that you can able to do something, one or two. And I hope you learn. And don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, Shukran. Good morning. Uh, once again, uh, this is uh, by Sir Bernardo Antonio. I uh, hope you're fine. So, uh, as we promised uh, outside, uh, today we want to do something uh, unique. Not actually unique, something that we know, but the terminologies are kind of different. Have we ever done a research about Australia? Australia is one of the countries that has so many coffee lovers and so many coffee drinkers according to statistics. But there are certain terminologies that they use to able to elaborate on their coffees. For instance, today we want to do something called short black. If you go into their menus and also if you go into their dashboard coffee menus, you'll be able to find things like short black and the doppio. So today that's what you want to learn in our series. Join me soon. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you for uh, staying in. So um, we're going to do the, the dope you. So the same, same process uh, that uh, we are doing uh, for the short black, uh, that was a single espresso, but uh, with only one slight uh, difference uh, today. So my coffee, as you can see, I'm still doing with the 20 grams uh, over here, nothing has changed. I'm using the same, same dose, but uh, with a slight difference. So the first uh, tutorial that we did, we did with two cups, but uh, for Adopio, we are just gonna use uh, one cup. So as usual, Always make sure that you put your cup, and I'm focusing on this one. I've already given you the reason for why we are totally uh, creating our cups. After creating our cups, I always make sure to take your scale over here because everything needs to go on a scale. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. So my scale is set. I have on the left hand um, uh, my timer, and on the right hand, it's able to give me the, the ML. So here right now I'm only using one cup uh, for the doppio, but uh, for our single, uh, for our uh, black coffee, we are using two cups uh, for the single espressos, meaning two in one. But for the doppio, it's basically this. So after that one, insert your, I've already flushed my group head, insert your, your water filter, then uh, have your cup over here. Always make sure to tear, then 
can have start set your time. This is what you call the pin fusion. You see this thing going this side, it has already taken place. So the coffee starts dripping, as you can see, it has happened there five seconds. And it is actually dripping simultaneously. So if you see your coffee is dripping simultaneously, it means that actually you had a, a nice tamping. So if you see your coffee, that one side is dripping and the other side actually still hanging, it means that your tamping was not okay. So for the coffee, it actually needs to start dripping simultaneously. So as you can see, the difference. The first one was a single shot, but here I'm doing a double shot. Here we go, I'm targeting on a 40 ml. So I was really talking, so it has really jumped to uh, to 41 because of talking but my main ml was 41 but slight difference of uh, uh, 1 ml but the ratio is supposed to be 1 to 2 because i'm trying to elaborate talk that's why but it has given me 41 uh, with a time of 33 seconds as you can be able to see over here and uh, my timing over here it is uh, 35 seconds so a difference of two seconds uh, from the machine and and uh, from the uh, uh, from our, our scale and uh, 41 ml which is not that bad actually for that particular ratio so this is actually what we call uh, a dopio simple as that one so what comes in your mind when you hear about the dopio simple what we hear is a double shot of espresso as you can able to see nothing strange and you can see i can able to swallow uh, my uh, my dopio it is consolidating actually very nicely the crema is coming back meaning the grand size was very, very much okay. The tamping was fine. My pressure for the machine was okay. So this is actually what we call dopio, something that you do in your counters, but the name is kind of different. So if you get a guest asking for a dopio, definitely is a double shot of espresso, but in one cup. That's the only difference between a dopio or a double shot espresso and a single shot espresso and a short black so hope you have learned something uh, from this tutorial but uh, most important thing that i always say is uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share but before actually i wind up there's something that i wanted to share with you so the serving for this dope is still the same uh, you can just take it over here put it over here you can have actually your uh, your biscuit on the side it's good actually uh, for the guests to have it with the biscuit on the side and your spoon this is actually how we serve it so there's nothing different about the servings uh, from the first one and the second one so these are our serving so and the guests will be able to enjoy so i don't have to taste men i did a lot of coffees in the morning so my coffee actually was good and uh, i know it's still good <laughs> so uh, what i want to stress on uh, and to share with you is if you really if you really want to know that uh, you have actually a good, a good uh, grind size of your coffee and your tapping was good and uh, this is our next topic that we are going to discuss uh, in our subsequent uh, video that i'm going to shoot in the, in the in the near future if you really want to know that your tamping was okay and your grind size was fine first of all if you take out your water filter from the group head if you see my if you see my uh, my coffee over here you can see, I want to demonstrate something. You see, the, the, we call it the coffee cake. Eh? If I can able to press, it's kind of like I'm not actually. Uh, see, my fingers are not penetrating inside. It's not like a mud. So I want to pour it down. When it falls like a cake, then it means actually our coffee was okay. Uh, let's able to see. Run, run. Good. Here we go. You see the coffee cake. This is what I'm talking about. So it means, and my water filter actually is clean inside. So it means actually our tamping was okay, our coffee grind is okay, and also our steaming uh, water from the temperature for the machine is okay. And these all things are the things that actually make our coffee to be nice. So I can even hold it. I can still hold it. It's not even breaking. You can see uh, uh, the golden color, dark color, like uh, chocolate is able to see in here. So these are the things that we need to check on yeah, as a barista to be able to make sure that uh, you are actually having a nice coffee for your guest. And one more thing when I wind out is about the grinders. You see I've been pulling the shots. Uh, I mean not the shots, I've been making an extraction of the shots. I get the dose. Then I, if I put them in my grinder, I get maybe 20.5. And my main aim maybe is 20. 
So on a busy operations, you know, we, we, we don't want to be actually be measuring our, our coffees and on a scale here and there. So in my, I think in my next uh, tutorial, I'll be able to show you how to calibrate the grinder so that when you set it to 20 grams, if you just pull it, it's going to give you 20 grams. So we're going to discuss about the grinds and about actually uh, the coffee uh, grind sizes uh, for a particular coffees. So I hope you like this video and if you like it, kindly share, like and subscribe. And uh, big up, I want to thank you now uh, for your support. We are actually now uh, hitted uh, 400 subscribers. But my main aim before we get back to our works is a thousand uh, subscribers. Will you help me with that? What I always say to my guests, shukran jazilan, shukran lakum, ciao, bye.